hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley if you are new welcome and if you're not new thank you for coming back I have this makeup tutorial for you featuring this look um, I have two lips I'll show you two lips in the video one which is a pink lip and the other which is this red lip and I think the red lip is better I mean well I like the red lip better but anyways um, so this is a nice soft pink pinky um, eye look um, very soft and girly so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look then stay tuned hi guys so starting off I have my eyebrows already completed um, and I have a brow tutorial on my channel so I'll link that below if you're interested but I'm starting off in this video color correcting with the LA Girl Pro Conceal color corrector in the color orange and I am doing that to cancel out any dark marks or any areas of hyperpigmentation on my skin and on top of that color correcting I am going in with the LA Girl HD Pro Conceal in the color chestnut just to um, bring that those areas back into balance with the actual color of my face to make it not be so uh, red and so today I am using two foundations the first one is a black radiance I think it's an oil free foundation and the color is brownie and I'm using that around the perimeter of my face because when that oxidizes it turns into a, um, a deeper tone than my complexion so I use that on the uh, bottom part of my face and around the perimeter of my face and to add more dimension to my face with a lighter foundation I'm using the coconut foundation um, the coconut shade of the Maybelline matte plus poreless foundation and you can see I'm just adding that on my cheeks and on my forehead I'm blending that out really well and for my highlight I am using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn taking that under my eyes um, on my cupid's bow underneath my contour area and on my forehead around and down the bridge of my nose and I'm taking a brush a damp brush and blending those areas out some more and to set my highlight I am using the NYC smooth skin setting powder and it's a translucent powder so it goes on white but as it sets on my skin it will um, not be white anymore it doesn't give me an ashy look the only downside to this powder is that if you use um, take flash photography you will get flashbacks so be watchful with that um, so now we're going on to the eyes and to set my base for my eyelids I used the HD or the Electro HD Pro Conceal in the color Fawn again on my eyelids and I am taking the Icon eyeshadow palette in the um, color shade Noir Garden and I'm taking that pink shade and packing that on my eyelid and to blend that out I am using my Toasted Almond Pressed Powder by CoverGirl. It's my favorite um, powder to use to transition um, my eyeshadow colors. And so, to start getting more color on the lid, I am taking the uh, deeper pink color in the Icon palette and blending that on the outer V of my eyelids and into my crease area. 
and to carve out my eyelid in the BH Cosmetics San Francisco palette I'm using the deep purple shade and with an eye definer brush from e.l.f. I am just putting that into that crease area and carving out my eyelids with um, carving out the crease with that deep purple shade and it's a matte shade so I, that's why I'm using that one and to blend that out I'm taking more of that um, intense pink color from the icon palette and packing that onto the outer V and a bit onto my eyelid as well. And so the effect I'm going for is a gradual transition from the light pink to the deeper pink into the purple and I just think this is a really pretty soft girly eyeshadow look that can be worn for um, several occasions but I'm thinking that if I were to do my wedding makeup over again I would probably do this look it's really a really nice soft pretty look okay so to make that first pink shade on the lid a bit more intense I'm just packing some more of that on there and now I'm prepping my eyelashes for falsies and to do that I am reverse curling my eyelashes so basically trying to those as my, my natural eyelashes as flat as possible before I go in and put on the false eyelashes one of the tricky things for me has been with false eyelashes has been trying to maneuver around my really curly eyelashes so reverse curling them uncurling my eyelashes has been a real help so I'm adding some NYC liquid liner on top of um, a real thin line of that um, to my lash line and then going in with those kiss eyelashes and putting them on. And to blend my eyelashes with the falsies, I'm using a um, Makeup Forever mascara and Smoky Extravagant. And I just wanted to show you guys the lash glue I'm using. It is the Revlon Precision Lash Glue, and it is fantastic. This is the best glue that I've tried. Um, I was able to get these on on my first try, and it did not take me very long. So I will be continuing to use that eyelash glue. And so I'm just doing the same thing to my other eyelid or my other my other eye blending my eyelashes with the falsies. I'm really excited about how easy those went on. And so for my bottom lashes, just taking that same mascara and adding that to my bottom lashes to get some length to those. And now that we're finished with our eyes, I'm brushing off any excess translucent powder. Cheekbones on my 
a bit on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin area, and a bit on my nose. And after all that, I'm just going back to my eyebrows and making sure those are in the place that I want them with a spoolie. And for the lips, I am lining my lips with the Coco Loco Lip Liner from Jordana. And I will be adding the Jordana Tinted Balm Stain. Um, I think that's what it's called. Or Twist and Shine Balm Stain. In that nice pink color. And to top this all off, I am adding a dewy finish finishing spray. You can add a matte spray, but I wanted to make the uh, makeup look appear more lived in. And so, after I went and took my hair down, uh, the sun had gone down. So I apologize for the lighting here, but I did want to show you that I lined my water lines with some black, uh, black liner and out my bottom lash line with some purple from the Icon palette that we were using earlier on our eyes. And now I'm just reapplying my lip color with a with a, uh, a reddish lip liner. And here we go with the balm stain and to get a more pinky, um, a, a pinker color on the lips. And I added my studio lighting to give you guys a better look but here is the final look with the pink lip and I wanted to see what it would look like with a red lip and so I'm using the uh, frisky liquid lipstick from LA girl and I'm just running that over my lips and seeing what that looks like and here is that look so let me know what you guys think which look or which lip look do you guys like? I do want to let you know that if you have Rebel by LA Girl, that is a fantastic lip to pair with this look. So give that a try and I will be speaking with you all soon. Thanks.